When it comes to search engines, Google is king. Google has been visited 62.9 billion times in 2019 alone. With millions of websites on Google, you can extract this data to help you write the most recent articles, industry analysis, keyword research, and SEO opportunities. You can also find great books and resources that have been peer-reviewed to help you with your research. We are Parsub, and today we'll show you how you can scrape Google Scholar to extract content and resources that are relevant to your research. With a web scraper like Parsub, we will be able to scrape PDF and book URLs that are related to a certain keyword. We will extract the page title, description, and author. Make sure to download and install Parsub for free before you get started. For this project, we're going to scrape the PDF and books that target the term data science. So let's get started. First, download and install Parsub. Click on the new project button and submit the URL into the text box. The website will now render inside the app. A select command will automatically be created. While using the select command, click on the first title that is on the results page. You should notice that the title you selected will be highlighted in green. Parsub will now suggest which other elements you want to extract in yellow. Click on the next title that is in yellow to select them all. You may need to do this two to three times to teach Parsub what to extract. The rest of the page titles will now be highlighted in green. On the left sidebar, rename your selection to something more appropriate. We're going to name it Title. Click on the plus sign next to your title selection and choose the relative select command. Click on the title that is highlighted in orange, then click on the description below it. An arrow will appear showing the association you have created. You may need to repeat this step to fully train the web scraper. Rename your selection to description. Repeat the previous two steps to extract other data like the author. Your project should now look like this. Feel free to pause the video to have a closer look. If we were to start our project, we would only extract URLs and titles on the first page. We will now teach you how to add pagination to your web scraping project. Click on the plus sign next to your page selection and choose the select command. Using the select command, scroll all the way to the next page link, click on it and select and rename your selection to next button. Click on the icon next to your next button selection and expand it. Delete the two commands under your next selection. Click on the plus sign next to your next selection and add a click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is a next page link. Click on yes and enter the number of times you'd like to repeat this process. In this case, we will repeat it four times. It is now time to run your scrape. To do this, click on the green get data button on the left sidebar. Here you will be able to test, schedule, or run your scrape job. For larger projects, we recommend that you always test your job before running it. In this case, we will run it right away. Once your run is complete, you'll be able to download it as an Excel or JSON file. Enabling IP rotation. This is a paid feature. If your web scraping project comes back blank, you may need to enable IP rotation. You may be getting blocked from scraping the data, but IP rotation will allow you to scrape the data without getting blocked. Let's show you how you can enable IP rotation in Parsub. Note, if you do enable IP rotation, your project will take longer to complete. Click on the gear icon and then select settings. Click on rotate IP address. A pop-up will appear with a warning about your run speed. Click on OK. Now run your project normally. You now know how to scrape Google Scholar. The great thing about Parsub is that you can schedule your project to run every hour, day, or week depending on what you need. If you run into any issues during this project, reach out to us via the live chat on our website, and we will be happy to assist you with your project. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to learn more about web scraping, check us out at parsup.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet. Happy scraping!